I taught you how to download Selenium jar files, how to just open up different browsers and take them to different websites. Okay. Now I teach you the concept of interfaces in Java. Once I have taught you the concept of interfaces, then I will come back to Selenium and I will teach you how the work, how the interfaces, they make the work very easy. Okay. Now suppose I have a class. I have a new class called, say, um, not a new class, I am sorry. I have a new interface. Okay. Not a class, but an interface is different than a class. Right. I have a new interface called as laptop. Okay. And I click on finish. So I get this class it's made like this public interface laptop. Okay. Interface is like uh, it's, it's something which de defines the contract of your application. It tells you what your application is supposed to do. A very simple example which I give every time is that when you go to a restaurant to have food, you look at the menu card. Right? On the menu card, it's written what all dishes are available and what you can order. Looking at that menu card, you come to know what this restaurant can offer you. Similarly, an interface is like that. Interface is like a menu card, the a la carte menu card. You just have to look at it and you will come to know what the uh, application is offering you. For example, you have like this, you have functions in it like this public void uh, say start and put a semicolon. There is no function body in this interface. You just have the name of the function defined. Right? You again have a function like public void say uh, install drivers. Okay. So every laptop will have a start feature, would have this feature of installing the drivers and all or public void turn on wireless. So these are some of the simple functions which are there in every laptop. Just looking at the laptop interface, you can come to know that what the laptop is supposed to do. Fine. Okay, now suppose I make another class. I make a class called laptop underscore HP. Fine. So it's an HP laptop, right? And it ha it, it should follow the laptop interface. So what we do is that we write over here this laptop implements the laptop interface. As soon as I write implements the laptop interface, I get an error out here. I get the error because if a class in Java is implementing an interface, then it is mandatory for it to give the body of all the functions in that interface. So if I move my mouse over the error, I will get the fix. The fix is add unimplemented methods two quick fixes available. One of them is add unimplemented methods. When I do that, I get this thing written out here. I get all the three functions. Start, install drivers and turn on wireless coming in this class. If I delete any one of the functions, I get an error immediately. If I am implementing an interface in Java, I need to implement all the functions of that interface. Fine. This is the start function. This is the install drivers and turn on wireless. Every function has a sign called override on it. This tells you that this function is actually coming from the laptop interface. Even if I delete this, it will not make a big difference. You will not get an error. This is known as an annotation. Right? Suppose if I make the code and tomorrow some other developer, the or tester, he looks at my code, he will come to know immediately by the sign override that this function is coming from the laptop interface. So it's like a marker. 
Fine. Now in this start function, I can write system dot out dot println HP laptop starting. Right. In this, I can write HP driver install. In this, I can write HP wireless on. Fine. So it's quite simple. This was the interface, right? And my HP laptop class is implementing the interface. Right. What is the usage of this thing? Why can't I make a simple laptop HP dot Java? Why do I need to make an interface? Right. The problem comes up that if yeah, Sandeep, you can ask a question. Tell me. Sandeep, you need minimum 500 kbps internet speed for these online training. Right? If you don't have 500 kbps, you will be stuck. If tomorrow, suppose a new laptop company comes in, say Acer, right? And that will also, yeah, I'll do that, Sandeep, hold on. Implement, I'll, also, I'll do that, hold on. Implement the laptop. Just look at, look, look at this, it will come to know. The same thing I'm repeating. That will also implement the laptop interface. Now, as I said, that if a class is implementing an interface, this is the laptop interface, it has to implement all the three functions in it. So I'll move my mouse over this and I'll add unimplemented methods over here. So I'll get all the three functions again. But these are in the Acer class. So if I write over here system.out.print and then Acer starting and system.out.print and then Acer installing drivers and system dot out dot print LM, Acer turn on wireless. Okay. So these are the three functions having the override sign. That is that means they are coming in from the interface and each function says that you can start, you can install the drivers, or you can turn on the wires. Right? Okay? Now, diagrammatically, I have got two classes now. This is Acer, and the other one is HP. Both the classes, they are implementing the same interface, that is laptop interface. Fine. Now, the importance of this design is that the name of the functions, they remain same. Although, the implementation may vary. Starting a laptop from Acer, you can write your own code. Maybe it starts in a little different way than the laptop of any other company. Fine. But, Similarly, the start function of HP may implement itself in a different way, but the name remains same. Okay, if I create a new class over here called as test laptops with the main function, I can create the object of different laptop classes. For example, I write over here laptop HP, HP equals to new laptop HP and similarly laptop Acer Acer equals to new uh -oh. laptop Acer right and you can write HP dot install drivers, right, HP dot start, right, HP dot turn on wireless. 
So this, these functions are from the HP class. When you run this, HP drive installing, HP laptop starting, so everything from the HP class will be called, right? But if you talk about Acer, if I write Acer dot start, this function is being called from the Acer class. Acer dot uh, install drivers and Acer dot turn on wireless. So these are the functions from the Acer class which are being called. When you run this, you see that. Okay. Now the same concept is in web driver as well. Many of you must have heard the word web driver. Okay. Right. If you look at the documentation, if you write over here, download Selenium, and you go here, and if you look at the Java doc, right, you will come across uh, in this, you will come across many classes which are uh, having the word wordings written in italics. Right? For example, this mouse. Mouse is written in italics. Whatever is written in italics is an interface. And all the implementing classes are event firing mouse and HTML unit mouse. These are the functions in those classes. Click, context click, double click, mouse do, mouse up, mouse down, mouse move, mouse up, right? So both these classes would be implementing this particular interface and would be having the same set of functions. Similarly, everybody has heard about the word web driver, right? What is web driver? Web driver is again in italics. Web driver is nothing but an interface. Okay? It's nothing but it's simply an interface. Now that's what many times people go for an interview. The interview asks, explain the architecture of Selenium. The first line should be the architecture is that the web driver is an interface. And everything starts from this interface web driver. These are all the implementing classes. Android driver, Android web driver, Chrome driver, Event Firing, Firefox, I, Safari. Okay. Now Android drivers are talking about this. Don't think that you can automate Android based applications with Selenium. You cannot. Selenium is a browser automation tool. If you want to check how your website is opening an Android phone, then you can use Selenium or an iPhone. Right? This, uh, so all these classes are implementing this web driver interface. Okay? And all the classes would have the same set of functions which are mentioned in the web driver interface. So you really don't have to worry that what all functions would be there in Chrome driver, what all will be there in Firefox driver, right? What all would be there in Safari driver, right? So you need you know that all these functions will be there. So all the driver classes out here, Firefox, Chrome, and IE would share the same set of functions like laptop, HP, and laptop Acer did. That's why the get function in all the three is used to navigate to a particular website. Suppose if a new driver comes up tomorrow, it will also implement the same interface, right? That is the web driver interface, and it will also uh, like have the same set of functions if it implements the web driver interface. Fine. Okay. Now, one thing which I forgot to tell you was, in case of iDriver, I'm sorry. You need to give the path of iDriver.exe. iDriver can be downloaded from here. The exe. This is the link, 32 bit or 64 bit i. You can go here and you can download the exe for iDriver. I forgot to tell you about this. Okay, right. So we have studied the concept of interfaces, and I just told you. How the interface can make your life easy, you really don't have to worry what, what all is there in each of the drivers. 
Fine. Now coming back, coming back to the test laptops class. Now we have written laptop underscore HP equals to new laptop, laptop underscore AC equals to new laptop, and you can call the respective functions. That looks good. But what if I want to create object of an interface? If I write over here laptop L equals to new laptop, I'll get an instant error. In Java, you cannot create the object of interfaces. It is illegal. It's something interface is something which is incomplete. You cannot create the object of an interface. You can create the objects of the classes which are implementing the interface. Similarly, you can never create the ob object of the web driver interface. You can create an object of Firefox driver, you can create an object of I driver and all, you cannot create the object of web driver interface. Fine. Now, if you look at the older version of Selenium, which was Selenium RC. If I go to Selenium RC and I type over here Java doc. Right. So, this is the older Java doc of Selenium. You see the difference? These are just the classes in the older version, that is Selenium RC. And these are the classes in the new version, Selenium Web Driver. Both of them are completely different from each other. But both of them are object oriented. Okay. In the older version, Selenium was an interface. In Selenium RC, Selenium was an interface. And this class over here, default Selenium, it was implementing the Selenium interface. Okay, but you better concentrate on the new version because Selenium RC has been deprecated. Even like the Cortworks guys, Cortworks made Selenium, right? They are not officially supporting RC right now. The support has been removed. All the development and fixes, uh, everything is going on on web time. So, uh, so Ashish, uh, sorry to disturb you. That I want to ask you that RC and web driver. The difference is between is only the version, right? That's the previous version, and this is the hello. Yeah, this is the previous version. This is the new version, but both of them are completely different. Don't think that if you have learned web driver, you have learned RC. No. Okay. The so actually, when you when you need to use RC and when you need to use web driver. Well, RC is the older version. If you are working on a project right now, don't use RC. Use web driver. Oh, okay. There are. The, it's not something that in some places web driver will fail and you need to use RC at that place. No. Okay. Initially, web driver was not there. RC was there. Okay. It became very famous, and then they thought that okay, why not uh, make it a better thing? Because the functionalities were limited. Only these many classes are there. So the guys who made RC along with Google thought, why not improve the whole API? So rather than improving it, they made a new one. This is the new one, is the web driver API. Okay. Right. So that's why people working on RC since five years or four years, when they look at web driver, they feel that they are a little lost and they are not able to understand anything. Okay. So. Right. Right. Now we cannot create the objects of interfaces as I told you. But you can surely do something like this. You can do laptop L equals to new laptop HP. Now this is a little different. This is the interface name and this is the class which is implementing the interface. Okay? Right? With this L also I can write L dot start L dot uh, turn on wireless or L dot install drivers. So all these functions from the laptop HP class would be called. If I write over here, this, if I run this, you will see that HP class objects they are called. But then what is the difference? What is the difference in writing like this 
and like this when you can call the functions the difference comes up when in laptop hp a new feature comes up for example there is a new feature called as public void or uh, say smart login now this feature is only there in hp laptops it's not there in all the laptops it is only specific to hp laptop okay now if i go to my test laptop if i'm creating the object of hp laptop like this by writing laptop hp equals to new hp laptop then you can call that function hp dot smart login but this function cannot be called like this if you are writing like this you can only access those functions in laptop hp which are coming from the interface you cannot access those functions which are of the laptop hp itself so you cannot call this function out here you'll get an error okay this is the difference right but majorly we use this thing in selenium right i'll tell you how i'll i'll make a new class called as um browsers out here and till now what we have been doing we have been doing like this we write firefox driver dr equals to new firefox driver right we write we write like this right okay if you run this a blank firefox opens up right but instead of doing this what we can do we can write web driver driver equals to new firefox driver now with this i can access those functions which are there in the web driver interface and implemented in the firefox driver class okay with this i can use all the features of firefox driver class but generally we go for this because very hardly anything is local to firefox driver class everything comes from the web driver and secondly if you have to work dynamically that is you need to do testing on various different browsers then you can you have to write like this for example what i mean to say is that i'll write like this that is web driver driver equals to none i'll not initialize it okay i'll write over here spring browser equals to mozilla okay what do i mean by writing string browser equals to mozilla right that means the browser on which i am going to test is mozilla generally what we will do is we will read this browser name from an external source i'm sorry for that background noise right really can't do anything from an excel file right or from an xml file or i can say read it from a text file or a properties file in java okay right now i am just hard coding it later on we will we will actually study how to read it from some external file right and based on the browser name we need to do the testing on that particular browser okay in that case i will keep the web driver object initialized to null in the beginning and keep keep an if statement that if the browser is equal to mozilla right if the browser is equal to mozilla right then initialize the driver to new firefox driver okay else if 
द ब्राउजर इज इक्वल टू क्रोम राइट देन राइट ब्राउजर डॉट इक्वल इफ द ब्राउजर इज इक्वल टू क्रोम देन ड्राइवर इक्वल टू न्यू क्रोम ड्राइवर ओके एंड अलॉन्ग विद दिस नीड यू नीड टू सेट अ सिस्टम प्रॉपर्टी राइट लाइक वी डेड ओवर है सिस्टम डॉट सेट प्रॉपर्टी वेब ड्राइवर डॉट क्रोम डॉट ड्राइवर एंड द पाथ ऑफ क्रोम एक्सी फाइल ओके एंड देन एल्स इफ द ब्राउजर इज इक्वल टू आई देन यू नीड टू राइट द ओल्ड थिंग दैट इज सिस्टम डॉट सेट प्रॉपर्टी the path to i driver which i had done and you you can write over here initialize the driver to new internet explorer and in the end you can write driver dot yeah because driver is the reference of web driver interface okay whether firefox is initialized chrome is initialized or i is initialized i'll get the same set of functions i can write driver dot get http yahoo.com right so in this case mozilla will open and it will take me to yahoo right and maybe after going to yahoo.com i need to print the title of that page so you can write driver dot get title driver dot get title gives you the title of the page So if you run this, this will open the browser, take it to Yahoo, and print the title of Yahoo.com homepage. You see that? Right? And if you look at the output, you will see that title of Yahoo is printed. Now, if I change the browser to Chrome. Okay, and I run this. You see that somehow the driver is giving me some message as well. Port already is existing. Mm. The thing is that with Chrome driver dot exe, right? Okay, I am putting the path of Chrome driver dot txt. In the end, if I don't quit my driver earlier, whenever I open Chrome driver out here, I never quit the driver in the end. It's very necessary to quit the driver when you are using Chrome driver and all. Hold on. You need to write over here driver dot quit. This is because if you don't quit the driver, if you are using Chrome driver, if you go to your task manager, you will see Chrome driver dot exe running, and you will see many Chrome driver dot exe. This exe keeps on running behind the scenes even after the code stops. So yeah, yeah. this time I am actually forcibly closing down this exe. That's why it gave some issue. right but always make sure when you are opening any driver and all make use of driver dot quit in the end this will close that browser and it will also close the exe for chrome driver in case it is a chrome driver and also i driver okay in case of firefox there is no exe so there is no exe running in background now it runs this and in console i get this output also along with chrome driver if you refresh your project you have a chrome driver dot log file generated it is generated automatically in chrome driver if you open up this log file you will see many things written out here okay uh initially you will not be able to understand everything but some things you will be able to understand like shutdown 
you are going to do this is the special id for chrome driver right sometimes you might need to have a look at the chrome as well oh, sorry blog as well right okay so that's what i have meant to tell you that you can work with different sets of browsers later on when we study how to read the data from an external source okay you can simply uh, use the name of the browser in the external source you can change it and you can use the interface reference and this interface reference on the fly depending on the browser you can initialize it to the driver name and you can simply use it okay right now uh it's uh, i have a question here um, um so uh, yeah so uh, <coughs> basically uh, uh, what 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 if i want to execute uh, firefox uh, chrome and ie parallelly uh, how can i do that uh, so in this setting you have to use selenium grid okay. okay so is there something i have to use along with web driver yes okay yes you have to use test and parallel tasks and all in it right and you have to use grid Okay. What we do with grid is that we make a hub machine, okay. and we connect multiple machines to that machine. And this hub machine it directs all the machines and the test cases run parallelly. But out here, I am talking about different machines. What if on a single machine you want to execute? This is a single machine. like my machine is here you want to execute the test cases parallelly for that you can use test ng parallel tasks right you don't really need to use grid for that with test ng parallel tasks the work will become very easy i haven't taught you test ng as of now right most probably by tomorrow i'll teach you test ng right so when i teach you test ng that thing will be clear to you and you'll be able to understand it okay so sure thanks right